grinds you down, but then it builds you back up. Welcome to New York. Welcome to New York. Welcome to New York. New York is home. Like, I don't know, this is my home. Adventurous, um, it depends. People come to New York to build a business, to build a life. Um, some people leave because they don't want to be here because it's too much to handle. Um, it's, it's different for everybody. Me, I, I leave, I travel a lot, and I always find myself right back here because this is home. You know, I don't know. It's not a place that I want to stay here for the rest of my life, but it's somewhere that I always will come back to. What's the best thing about New York for you? The best thing, the people. The people, the money, the money the most, the bag. <laughs> That's it. I don't know about the people, but yeah, the money is there. Why, why don't you know about the people? The people um, is the one with the money. Nah, because when you go other places, is you get that, hello, good morning, how are you? New mm -hmm. York is, you feel me? You get that stink look. Like, everybody is not the same. on Every, that type yeah, of, of time. Course, of course. Yeah, what's the difference between the people in New York and everywhere else? Um, the people in New York are more aggressive than people out of state. <laughs> It's true. You don't seem so aggressive. No. Mm, yeah, because I, I travel so much. I, I'm, I'm very patient when it comes to people. So I know how to handle certain situations and certain conversations and certain people. People who have not left New York City, they don't know nothing about that because they're so used to the aggressiveness and how people come at them, you know? So, I don't know. And how, 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 how are they aggressive? How, well, what's... It, the, the way that they speak, the way that they come out, you know, it's... Sometimes it might not even be on purpose, but it's it's just the way, you know, you know, I don't know. Hey, can walking. you give an example? Give an example. <laughs> give an example. Be aggressive to the camera. <laughs> nah. Fuck out my face. Yeah. He's a butt face. What you fucking looking at me for? I don't know, like some people be like, you could walk by and somebody be like, hello, good morning. And then that's somebody from out of state. And then you see somebody from New York, they be like, yeah, good morning. Like, why you gotta have an attitude? It's, it's morning, good morning. It don't sound like it's a good morning for you because you're saying it's so aggressive, you know? That's what I mean. Yeah, I don't know. What, what's, okay, you said the best thing. What's for you the best thing about New York? Um, the best thing is that, you know, um, I grew up here. So it's like, you know, no matter where I go, you feel me, the city is always a part of me. It runs in so, our blood. You know? yeah. Um, do you have any advice you say say that uh, young people from Holland want to come here, want to live here? How do you survive New York? Keep your head up, you know, keep your books before boys because boys bring babies, you feel me? Worry about the bag only, you know. Stay, don't, no, don't plan to stay in New York. Plan to get out of New York, you know. That's how I feel, you know, that's my plans. You know, I'll do what I got to do so I can get out and not come back, so. Yeah, really? Yeah. So you like it, it's in your blood, but you still want to go? Of course, I want to travel the world. I don't want to be in one place, you know. This is home, I'm always come back to it, but there's a whole bunch of other homes I want to go to, yeah. you know, so. But still, still, what kind of attitude uh, does a person need to survive in New York? Um, they have to be strong, that's one. They have to have a good head game, a, a good mentality. Um, yeah, you just got to be tough, period. Like, if you're not tough, I don't feel like people won't survive because... You know, because <laughs> there's a lot of pussy people out here, you know, they get scared of um, somebody approaching them or, or, or whatever the case may be, you know, but you just got to handle situations differently. You got to be calm with people, especially out here. If you don't got patience, then you don't got nothing. So you got to have patience, be tough, have men be mental stability, all that, all that, you know. Okay. How, do you, how do you handle the stress and the craziness? What's your strongness? The stress and the craziness. Um, it's different for me because I do music and I write. So, like, if I'm stressed, I'll, I'll start writing or whatever the case is, you know, or I'll talk to my sister or whatever, you know. Um, I don't really associate with people outside because it's too much, you know. Everybody has their own things going on, and there's a lot of drama, especially when you're in Harlem and you're in the hood, you know, because we're so diverse. Everybody has their own issues. You know, so 
Pretty much it. Okay. I, I got the idea that everybody's here by himself. You have your own friends. It's hard to make new friends. Is that right or yeah. not? It's because everybody comes and they're already in their own circle. You know, basically, you if you're coming out here to build a circle, it might be a little rough, but I guarantee you that it will happen. You know, okay. there's somebody for everybody. You know, a, a relationship, a friend, whatever. So that's how I see it. <laughs> even in New York. Yeah, even in New York, definitely New York. You could find somebody in New York, anywhere, in all five barrels. 